G'day and welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and Lakeland Vale Farm here on Farming Simulator 19. And first off, let's rest assured, no rants today. Okay, we ranted enough in the last episode to last us about another six weeks. So, um, you're safe. Alright, so let's get into it. We are back. We're on our fields one through to four at the moment. We, we've actually done a couple of little changes to facilitate us getting a... a baler we've now got a coon baler um, there behind us which we're now uh, tracing around and picking up the grass and making some grass bales uh, we ended up selling a couple of things to make that happen we as you would have probably may or may not recall we had about uh, I think we were on about sixty five thousand dollars in the bank um, so we didn't have enough to buy a baler the ba this baler was ninety five thousand dollars and the new holland version that we're going to look at getting was one hundred and thirty five thousand uh so we ended up getting this one instead but we ended up selling our elmer's auger wagon uh and the reason for that i'll go into shortly um we also sold our pickup our ute because uh, really we're, we're not going to use it so it was it was thirty five thousand sitting there doing nothing, so uh, which we could make use of elsewhere and get more bang for our buck, so to speak. So we got rid of the utility or the um, um, the pickup, as the uh, Americans like to call them. So that's that's gone as well. Uh, we did, however, replace the Elmer with a smaller Kinsey. Um, auger wagon or loading wagon so uh, we have got an auger still if we need it um, we certainly didn't need the big elmer with the 70,000 cap capacity so uh, we got rid of that so um, yeah so some slight changes uh, we haven't uh, done anything naughty we haven't cheated any money or anything else like that which we're not going to do for this series as we've said from day one uh, but we did sell a couple of things to facilitate uh, that new equipment so uh, yeah, so we're now able to quite successfully and easily gather up all our grass and um, and make it into our bales. The other thing we haven't done yet, though, is we haven't put our bale shed in. Uh, although we have got $25,000 left at the moment, that does give us enough to put that shed in when we are ready to do that. So that will go in sometime, possibly even in this episode. We'll just sort of see how things pan out. Uh, but... Um, yes, we can still do that comfortably enough as it is as well. I mean, push come to shove, we can always get rid of these John Deere's as well. So, um, and then, so if we get rid of the John Deere's, the other thing it saves us is the cost of the fire extinguishers and the extra insurance um, to run John, John Deere's on the farm. So, um, yeah, we, we've got that as well. And no, it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. If you've come to this channel and you think you're not going to have me pull the Mickey out of John Deere, um then that ain't gonna happen sorry all right so we're going to continue on through here now the reason let's talk about the reason why we no longer have an auger wagon or why we got rid of the big auger wagon uh recently or, or i don't know how long ago it is now because I, I can't remember noticing it um the new course play um had an addition to it so with course play now if we go into and i don't know if i'll get the option because i'm not in a combine harvester uh, when we go up here and we go to advanced settings, there's an option down here called combine self unload. If you activate that, um, a combine, while it's harvesting the field, when it's full, will look to see if there's a trailer nearby um, and go and offload itself. So we activated that with our combine and that's exactly what we're doing. So you can see here that the truck here has got some grain in it. Uh, I'm not sure how far... I don't know how well I've timed this, uh, not overly well. But what will happen is this combine here will actually go off and find a place to unload. Now, in Farming Simulator 17, for instance, with course play, to do that, you actually had to program up um, either one or two things. You had to either program up a route for the combine harvester to go to a set point and offload, or alternatively, you set an overloader course where you had a tractor with an overloader, would come onto the field, would be called onto the field to the combine when the combine was full or at a set point you actually called it on um, and it would come and offload from the combine 
it would then take the overloader wagon to a set point on the field or nearby the field and offload it into a truck or trailer as well, which is doing exactly the same thing. But with this with this newer version of course play, and, I, and I'm, I'm sure my good friend JJ will be able to tell me exactly when it happened because he monitors this a lot better than what I do. Um, they've now got that option in the advanced settings to, to get the combine to go and self offload. And we've done that. So the last two loads have gone off into that truck and he's offloaded himself. Now, is it gonna be foolproof? Is there gonna be any issues? Look, I don't know. It's, it's very early days of me using that functionality. Um, but it's, it's extra functionality that's available to the game uh, via course play. And I really like the idea of it. I think that's fantastic. So basically I can put a combine out here now, as we've done, basically set it to run and it'll offload into the truck itself. I don't have to worry about bringing a, a tractor and an auger wagon in or a tractor and a tra uh, trailer in to offload, uh, all that sort of stuff. Now the flip side of that is we're taking away a job that we would do manually. And yes, I'm aware of that. Um, however, and, and this is the way I look at it. If, if you're here watching me doing a video, I'm not so sure you want to see us doing the same thing for days and days on end or for multiple videos. So in this instance, um, it would take me quite some time. In fact, it's taken a, over a full game day already to harvest this field. Now, in, since when we started harvesting this field, I've done three episodes, for instance. Now, in those three episodes, I've done things like mowing all the grass from the other fields, we've windrowed it, we've now started baling it. Um, I've done some other little things around the farm off camera as well and we still aren't even halfway through this field, as you can see, okay? Now this is just a normal size map, it's not a four times map or anything else. So if it was a four times map, that problem gets uh, amplified. So the ability to actually do this, and, and what I mean for the, for the videos, is I can set this guy to go and do that. And that's one part of the functionality I don't have to worry about. I don't have to then come back in and just constantly be switching to, as he, you know, we're gonna watch this, he's gonna go and offload. Um, I don't have to constantly go and switch to another tractor with an overloader and then go and offload. I can leave this guy to do his job and then we can come back in and we can do the cleaning up or we can do whatever. If we so choose that we want to actually manually drive the combine harvester and go on offloading, we still have that option. We just don't have to, we just don't activate that functionality for this guy to go back up and find his way to the truck and offload. So it, it's just an extra tool to provide that extra bit of uh, time and, and, and gameplay for us. So we can sit here and we can certainly watch it. We can bring another tractor in. We can watch what's going on. Um, but at the end of the day, we can automate some of the processes just to make it a bit easier. So I, as, so I can basically give you a lot of varied gameplay. Now, some of you may well argue, and certainly put it in the comments. Um, I'm, I'm be interested to know what my viewers actually think. Um, would you rather actually see every little thing done on the farm done manually certainly on a big farm like western australia or fenton forest four times or the wild west uh, all those really big maps it ain't going to happen because you're going to be bored batshit um, by the fact that you're going to have hours and hours and hours doing combine work or whatever else um, but yeah let me know in the comments what do you think so a map like this do you are you happy to sort of see us doing this sort of stuff or would you rather me actually do everything manually um, I, I haven't really sort of tested the water in relation to that as far as my viewers go on this channel goes. So it'd be very interesting to see what you all think. Um, I think having a happy medium of a bit of both is fine. Uh, so, so for instance, this time going through this field, we might just do it with the automatic off offloading. Uh, next time we might revert it back to manual and we just offload it with an auger wagon. <coughs> Pardon me. So. Yeah, I mean, over to you. Let me know in the comments down below. And please make sure you leave a comment because that way I know uh, what your feelings in relation to that are. Um, and then we can we can append our gameplay and our videos to suit. I mean, at the end of the day, um, the videos, while a couple of people have said previously on things we've spoken about, and they've said, oh, look, it's up to you. You play what you want to play, all that sort of stuff. By the same token, the whole idea of doing this is to entertain you, the viewer. So... It's very important to me, certainly as a producer of this, that 
not only am I enjoying what I'm doing and bringing it to you, and I mean, at the end of the day, the reason why I started doing this was just because I'm playing the game anyway. I may as well share my experience uh, and that with others if they're interested. And obviously there's, there's some element of interest there at some point um, because we have got viewers watching it. Um, but I'd, I'd be interested to know if, um, as a dog's going crazy, as another dog walks past the yard, um, I'd be interested to know whether um, you think that we should be doing more stuff manually or a little bit of a happy medium, what we're doing is okay, or whether you'd like to see even more automation. Um, it's, it's really important, I guess, to, to sort of quantify that and sort of it helps guide us a little bit further as we're going along. Um, so, yeah, while well, I just uh, kill the dog. Wait, shush. Right. Um, so yeah, so that's that's what we've been doing. So that leaves us to the fact that we can now um, continue on and get other stuff done here, like as in doing all the bales. So while we've got the combine down there twittering away, collecting all the uh, the straw, or sorry, all the hay, sorry, all the wheat, let's try again, um, we can be here doing other jobs as well. Now, if you want to get to a realism factor, that's probably not unreasonable because, I mean, realistically, when you have a farm and you're going to be harvesting, um, in most operations, you're going to have at least two people working. I would say, I mean, again, we're coming from someone that's a city slicker, basically. Um, but from all the stuff I've seen, you've effectively got at least two people doing it. So you've got someone driving your combine and someone driving a tractor to offload or whatever else. Now, I know there might be small farm situations where you've got someone that's actually just doing it all manually themselves one person they've just got a, a tractor and a trailer and they've got a combine harvester and they just go off and, and do what they've got to do and i mean that's kudos to them that's just the way you do things um but certainly as far as uh i've seen um it certainly seems to me and i mean i'm not i'm not bringing in things like the welkers or, or stuff like that that have a huge farming operation um but I think generally speaking, as we go and click that bale, um, a lot of farmers actually would sort of operate it in that regard. So if, if that's the case, I mean, we're not that far off what we're doing in, in reality in the fact that we have a staff member, uh, an employee running the combine harvester and doing that, and he can self-sufficiently offload into the truck and then radio in when the truck's ready to go or whatever else while we're doing other stuff around the farm. I mean, it's not that it's not that far from reality so um and and while we have never contested here that we would be the true real farmer or anything else like that i mean christ i i have got no clue other than what i've learned in the game and watching some farming videos um of what real farming entails really so um for me for me to even try and do that would be laughable in in my opinion um but certainly in, in relation to at least doing something that's close to reality to a point um, is what we will try and do um, and hopefully that is certainly what we are delivering for you so um, but yeah so let us know down below in the comments if, uh, if that's what you like seeing so number one this, this, is your, this is your homework guys in the comments number one do you like seeing us do uh, the um, the automated stuff and all that sort of stuff with with some options like so not all the time but uh but sporadic or or a little bit of here and there or would you rather it be all manual and the second one of that is you want to see it well actually no that's not an option you're not you're not going to see it more realistic you're just going to get what you get from me sorry like it'll lump it um <laughs> it's just the way it is i mean let's let's face it but yeah so that's your homework just leave a comment down below and of course leave a comment down below if you like the channel and you like the shit that i dribble on about leave a comment if you don't like the shit that i dribble on about more than welcome all right doesn't cost you anything doesn't cost me anything might give me a bit of a laugh but um but yeah leave leave a comment please no i'm not gonna beg i'm not for begging all right so uh i think we'll go back up and we'll click this little swap bit here that we've just run over and then we'll head back up out to the west on that line. Wonder how our combine is going now. He should be uh, 
We've probably done another load by now. Now the other thing that's going to be interesting with that, and it'll be an interesting test, is the trailer that I'm using has two components to it, has two sections to it. So it'll be interesting to see whether the combine harvester, when it's filled in one section, actually knows that um, and goes and fills in the other section. So I think at the moment, no, it's not filling in the active section because the last the last section I unloaded from that trailer was the rear section and it's loading the forward section of that first or the front section of that first. So it'll be interesting to see whether it just automatically detects it's got the two different areas and it goes and does it. The next thing I am going to test with this as well is by doing a road train. So if I put a road train there with two or just two trailers, uh, so like an A and B trailer or whatever else, um, will it also then fill up both trailers? So fill, fill one trailer and then when that's filled, filled go to the next trailer. Um, that's another test to do. Now, if one of you already know that that does work or doesn't work, then again, leave a comment down below and... Um, and we'll uh, we'll see exactly what's going on, and we'll try and work it out. So uh, sorry about that. I just had to quickly just flick away. Um, but yeah, so just let us know. More than happy to have that interaction and find out. And if and if it doesn't work that way, um, then obviously that means we'll have to do a little bit more manual offloading, all that sort of stuff ourselves. Um, but certainly for the moment, one of the advantages is as I'm sitting here and recording and just driving around doing bales. We're not seeing that red bit of text coming up saying such and such need to be offloaded um, because he's just automatically going to go off and do his thing. So, um, yeah, marvellous. So, anyway, if you're not sure on course play or anything else like that, um, again, you can come in and, and have a chat with me in Discord. Um, you can also hit up JJ in Discord. He's uh, played, with, played with course play probably a little bit more than what I do. Um, but, uh, yeah... I'm, I'm kind of planning about doing another video on course play, doing a, a let's uh, like a, a learn how to use course play series. There's plenty of them out there, um, but I think with some of the updates and stuff, I think it probably wouldn't hurt us to revisit it. Um, and again, so let me know in the comments if, if you think that would be a valuable addition. Um, would you like to see me do a educational series or a tutorial type series on course play, um, as in course play for Farm Simulator 19? Let me know again down in the comments below. All right. So we're uh, about 18 minutes into this video and things are going swimmingly. I haven't had an error come up saying the combine is blocked. I don't think anything's going wrong. Uh, I haven't got the mod enabled because I couldn't find it. Um, that gives me the details of what the status of all the machinery is that's being used. So I don't know whether the combine is full, empty or parked up a tree or whatever. Uh, or whether it's on fire, uh, which is probably more than likely. Um, so really we just have to sort of wait and see what happens. I'll, once I finish this row down here, we might go back on over and have a look and see what's going on. Uh, we do need to look after our sheep as well. Our sheep, while we checked them in the last episode, they've got plenty of food and water. There is a pallet of wool we're going to need to start looking at moving on as well. Uh, so we need to keep on the wool. We obviously will need to come through and collect all these bales. Now I'm going to do it the simple way. I'm going to bring in a flatbed trailer that has auto load and I'm just going to pick them all up. If you want to see me pick up bales manually, don't bother putting that in the comments because that is not going to happen. Um, <laughs> it's it's not something that is my forte at all. Uh, so you're very, very unlikely to see that. That's why I do love the auto load trailers. Uh, makes it a lot easier and also doesn't make me look like a simpleton when it comes to operating either a telehandler or a, um, a tractor with a loader. Uh, or whatever else on it so um, yeah don't be surprised if you just see the auto loading trailer loading and offloading but uh, anyway we'll see how that goes all right so we'll go up here I know we said we're going to do it at the end of the last one but I'm just going to go up the top here to the top of the hill we'll turn around and then we'll go off and see what the combine is doing and then we'll come back and see if we can finalize all this the, in fact, I don't even know if I've got a flatbed trailer now, I think about it. So that could be problematic because I, if I haven't got a flatbed trailer, uh, I can't purchase I may have to get a loan um, and, and that's what we'll probably do. I will probably get a loan to cover the price of that trailer if I need to. Um, so in fact, what we'll do is, I guess I was going to stop. Stop getting so excited. 
Right, uh, let's go and have a look and see what the Combine's doing. Right, so he's done exactly what I thought he was going to do. So, uh, let's just uh, F1 to bring that up. Tip side front, tip side back. Right, so he's, okay, so he's a bit confused by it, is he? He's not quite loaded himself up properly. And we didn't get a message saying that. So we are going to have to keep a bit of an eye on that. The other option is, oops, did I press the wrong button? We, in fact, that's what I'll probably do. I'll probably get rid of this trailer and we'll just go to a, something like the BSM trailer, just a standard trailer, um, and we'll do that. So what we'll do is we're going to need to get some money behind us to do that. So let's go in here. Uh, our loan is at $250,000. let us um. Let's, right, what's that give us now? That gives us 93,000, so let's go see what we can purchase. So, um, well, if we've got that Lizard flat deck trailer there, we can use that. Um, the other one I do prefer, though, uh, are these ones here, the CMC trailers. And I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to go... Um, no gates, color guards, standard, spider rims, red. I do love the red. Uh, no, what we'll do is we'll go um, gray deck, main color. Um, I think we'll go class gray. I think that looks all right. What do you reckon? I like the look of that. I think that looks all right. So I think we'll do that. So we're going to go main color. That's the class gray and the main color onyx, I think it was. Um color of gray so we're going to buy that i think i was going to buy two of them i think we'll only buy the one so we're going here we're going to go the gray we're going to go the spider rims we're going to go color guards we're going to go the black chrome that's what it was uh we're going to go the gray i, I do think that looks quite nice right so we're going to buy that you don't have enough money what do you mean oh with options forty-seven thousand five hundred. dollars Right, back to the bank. Back to the bank, he said. Right, let's borrow another. Ah, what's another? I don't know. There we go. We've borrowed a hundred and something thousand, I think. All right, let's go back in here. We'll get this trailer. Well, actually, I could get uh, thirty-eight, thirty-eight. No, let's just let's just limit ourselves. Come on, let's not be too unrealistic, or let's not just overexert ourselves. Uh, design color black, deck color gray, spider rims, and we're going to buy that. Thank you. So we've got the flat deck, tra flat deck trailer, and we are good to go with that. Okay, my apologies for that. We uh, had to take a phone call, so we had to uh, just end the recording abruptly and then come back. So anyway, what we have now done, we took our loan out. Uh, I've now sold the, I've offloaded the trailer that we had, uh, we've sold that and we've purchased now the two flat deck trailers, so we've got an A and a B trailer and I've just purchased the BSM trailer that I was saying I was going to purchase as well and that is sitting here like so, so there we go. Alright, so what we're going to do first off is I'm just going to take this trailer, I want to try and see what happens if I just dump this trailer on the side of the field uh, without the truck to see whether the combine will come and offload into the trailer. So we've already seen that it won't work too well with the multi-compartmented uh, trailers. Um, but I'd be interested to see what happens with this guy uh, if I don't have him connected to the truck to see whether he'll just come up and offload. Uh, we'll take a shortcut through here. Like that. So the combine... He's sitting down there. He's full. Uh, and it looks like... You see? I thought he was just moving then. Um, you know, see, I may have to actually do this one manually. Um, but there may not. So let's just put this here. Right. I'm going to... Offload. Right. So I don't, I don't think he's going to do that. All right, that's all right. 
So we'll fix that in the next episode. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down and get these flat deck trailers. I'm then going to go and start collecting bales. We'll probably do that in the next episode because then we also need to put our bale storage in. So even though I said I was going to do that probably this episode, I think that will be the next episode because we have run out of time. So we are going to finish it off right here. So thanks very much for watching. Again, leave your comments down below for the stuff we've talked about. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, a big thank you to all my Patreons, and if you wish, you can consider pay becoming a Patreon of the channel, which helps us pay for all our bills and all that sort of stuff in relation to running the channel, uh, which isn't insurmountable, but uh, it certainly helps. Uh, and certainly, I can tell you that with the new internet we'll be getting in the next few days, um, that will be becoming a little bit more expensive as I increase the capacity of our internet in relation to upload, download, which primarily will be used for not only loading videos up to YouTube, but also for running live streams. So it will help with those costs that are available there. Anyway, as I'm just deciding to do a disastrous job of putting these trailers up. Um, also, don't forget to come and join us on Discord. You can also check us out and connect with us on Twitch and Facebook, and also on Twitter. So please consider joining us there as well. And of course, if you like the episode, press that like button. If you didn't, that's okay. That's your prerogative. We won't hold it against you. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please make sure you press that subscribe button and also press the alarm notification icon so you're made aware of when more videos are available on the channel. And no matter whether it's afternoon, morning, afternoon, evening, or night, no matter where you are in the world, please take care of your loved ones. And we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Ducks Ollie Gaming and Lakeland Vale Farm from Stevie. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye.